So we managed to make $30,000 in the first month of actually trying to scale up this brand. This is a branded store and I do a lot of work working with clients and doing consulting on huge brands and trying to scale them. This is one of our smaller ones where we're working to try and get it to $100,000 per month. But one of the key things I wanted to point out here is the conversion rate and the sessions and how we managed to get such stable results. And the reason for this is because of our strategy. And it's more than just setting up a Shopify store and running ads to it, which is a mistake most brands make. We essentially have a multi-step strategy where we diversify as much as possible. And this basically means we have to use multiple advertising platforms to make sure that we've got as many different hands in as many different pockets as possible to get as many different customers as possible and if something gets shut down we have a backup or something to rely upon now upon this we also stack in organic we need to get as much organic going so in a lot of my other videos i talk about tiktok organic and that's basically posting videos to TikTok to try and grow your brand so you have an audience of people. One of the best things to do if you're growing a company or a business is to have an organic following of people who are invested in your brand that will then keep on coming back. So if your ads do get shut down, then you still have customers coming in. So a large part of this is building funnels. And if you don't know what a funnel is, essentially the process is we build a landing page for a hero product. And that is exactly why this conversion rate is so high. We build landing pages for a hero product. For example, this brand is a high ticket jewelry brand. We are selling products, anything between rings, bracelets, necklaces, earrings, anything like that. And if they have a winning product that they come to us and they say, this is a product we want to push. And if we decide that it's not you know, a winner, then we'll tell them. But essentially we find the best chances, the best possible product to sell. We build a landing page using Go High Level. And we will build a landing page that funnels all of the traffic into a two-step order checkout form. And I'll demonstrate that in, at the end of this video, but essentially when those customers come through, we ping those orders over to Shopify and then we track the sales here. So that's why we're not getting many sessions recorded on this store because most of the sessions are landing on a landing page beforehand and then all of those orders are being sent over to Shopify and we use Shopify as a CRM to basically ship out our orders. Now in this case, the client has about 20 different products, which means we have to still be able to sell those other products. We use Shopify as a, just a generic storefront for all those other customers to go and shop around. But essentially, we need to bring in as many customers as possible. So if you want to scale a brand, you need customers. And the best way to do that is by using a funnel on Go High Level where we build a landing page, we create orders, we get customers in, we give them a good service, and then we have a storefront on Shopify for people to then shop around and buy specific products, which is why we have very low sessions but very high conversion rates because these are partly tracking some of the sales that have come through our actual order form but it's also tracking a lot of sales coming through with people buying multiple times and coming back and buying different products and just shopping around once they've already purchased a product if they're happy so a lot of these are returning customers but most of this revenue does come from our hero funnel which is using go high level to build and i'll show you that now so just before we do that, this is a quick example of what we don't do. This is a brand that sells jewelry, which is fairly similar to what we sell, um, our client sells. Um, but basically, rather than building a landing page and running ads to a page like this, we actually use this store. So we create something like this. This is still their store. Um, and sure, customers can go and shop around for other products, but ads don't run to this page. We actually run our ads to a page that looks like this, and I've shown this example off in many videos, uh, so I will actually build another example, but there is actually a breakdown video on how you can build something like this, but the reason we do this is because it looks very different. If we compare the landing page that we saw before to this one, you can see there's a huge difference between the two landing pages, uh, and obviously this looks a lot more branded, and if you're running a Shopify store, then everybody who lands on that page has probably seen your theme before unless you're going to go out and spend $500 on a theme and typically those themes are not meant to convert customers they're meant to look pretty and that is it um, so we build a landing page like this you can see there's one buy now button we've got another one down here we've got another one here we've got about three or four different buy now buttons on this page, which allows customers to have many opportunities to check out. And when they do click that checkout button, then it has a two-step order form. And once they complete payment on here, they literally just fill in this information, put in their payment details, and then they're done. Once that's done, it sends the order directly over to Shopify, and we can start tracking those sales, and we can start shipping those orders out to customers. So guys, if you wanna learn how to do this for completely free, I've got a free Discord channel down